Welcome to Western New York over the air. With 6NBC and its subchannels displaced onto WSCV and WAMI, WTVJ's 6 MHz band on RF channel 31 has been officially cleared for an ATSC 3.0 lighthouse. This station is unique not only because it's an ATSE 3.0 station, but because it is owned and operated by NBC Universal. The only other ATSE 3.0 broadcasts I've tested were Sinclair stations WNYO and WSTM in New York State and WEYS LD in Miami, Florida, a station which was essentially forced to become an ATSE 3.0 broadcast due to its Franken FM status. WTVJ is a sign that Comcast, the parent company of NBC, Universal Studios, and Xfinity, is interested in ATSE 3.0. I met with Tyler the Antenna Man in downtown Miami where we tested the newly launched WTVJ ATSE 3.0 lighthouse. We first compared the picture quality of the ATSE 1.0 and ATSE 3.0 variants. Oh yeah, this doesn't look as good. What I immediately noticed when comparing the two was the NBC6 logo in the bottom corner. It looks smoother and sharper on the 3.0 signal. WTVJ. So we're going to wait to see if we can find that same frame of like him with Lester Hole. There's Lester. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. The HEVC stream had a variable bit rate of about 2 to 6 megabits per second, when the MPEG-2 stream had a variable bit rate of 5 to 9 megabits per second. Since HEVC delivers the same quality at about half the bit rate of AVC, and AVC delivers the same quality at about half the bit rate of MPEG-2, we can calculate that the HEVC ATSE 3.0 stream is actually higher quality than the MPEG-2 ATSE 1.0 counterpart. It makes sense that the 3.0 version looks better. This same test was done with WFOR, which had a similar outcome. Here's some footage of my setup at the park. So we have an antenna hooked up to an HD home run that can tune ATSC 3.0 broadcasts. I've got a little travel router, TP-Link travel router plugged in. Show who's holding the antenna. Yeah, look who it is, guys. It's Tyler the antenna man. Western New York over the air is with Tyler. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. We've got uh, plugged into the battery with the inverter. We got a we got this uh, router, and then we've got the um, HD home room plugged in with AC power. So we're, we're we're getting this running right now. My Mac is being sent uh, a signal from from the router right now in the local area network that I've just created in this in this park. So we're we're just chilling out. We're testing out some ATSC 3.0 stuff in Miami. Pretty cool stuff. Those cops aren't coming for us, though. They're keeping an eye on the festival. You see all those cops yeah, there? Yeah, yep. They're not coming after <laughs> us. They're going out. There's nope. some kind of fitness festival going on, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. They're approaching us. Yeah. yeah. Tenders in a park with <laughs> testing things out. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is coming in pretty well. Um, for the last couple of days, there's been some nasty uh, DRM uh, encryption on some of these streams, but right now it's, it's uh, coming in unencrypted. We're getting in both uh, PLPs right now, so it's, it's holding pretty steady. And he's able to move the antenna around and it's still coming in perfectly fine, as you can see. And the, the SNR isn't really being affected that much either. It's nice and steady. Uh, network rate is staying pretty consistent as well, so that's all good to see. All right, so a few days later, I tested it with VLC on the Apple TV. I'm going to launch the VLC app for Apple TV. I'm going to go down to my HD home run, go to channels, and then go down to the 100s that uh, HD home run artificially makes 100 because they're 3.0 streams. We're going to click WTVJ 106.1. We're going to see it pop up on here. It first went to PLP0, and it found that there was nothing there, so then it went to PLP1, the QAM256. And it is currently playing the QAM256 version. And VLC is telling me this is a 1920 by 1080 MPEG H Part 2 HEVC H265 video stream. And of course, it doesn't recognize Dolby AC4, so it's not displaying it. And it does recognize the five subtitles tracks as well. But let me try this again. And I can get out of this and I can go to WFOR. 
And as you can see on here, it first looked for the PLP0, now it's looking for PLP1, the QAM256. I then tried it out on the HD Home Run app for Apple TV, and to my surprise, it was able to play the audio by sending the audio to Silicon Dust and sending it back to me. Discuss his legacy and the need for future leaders to keep that dream alive. You're watching NBC News. I'd like to give a shout out to Tyler. He's a really cool guy, and I'm glad to have gotten to meet him in person. ATSE 3.0 is in the early stages of broadcast. If deployed the right way, it will completely change over-the-air TV broadcasting for the better. I personally hope some broadcasters decide to deploy stations with very robust negative SNRs. This would make ATSC 3.0 have a signal comparable to NTSC analog TV broadcasts. Although a broadcaster would be sacrificing their entire bandwidth for a single 540p or 720p stream, their signal would reach people who haven't gotten over-the-air TV broadcasts for decades. If you liked this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.